just got some more in. These sold out last November. So it's been almost an entire year, 10 months, basically. 10 months since we've seen these. And the other thing to note is that these are at a sale price just for the day. So normally they're $23.75. We're taking them down to less than $20, $19.50. But that price does go back up at the end of the day today. The easy pay will go away at the end of the day today as well. Uh, let's see where the colors all are. Are they up front? Oh, yeah, there they are. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to start right down here with the lavender. So there's our lavender. This is the honey color. Next to that is the mulberry. Mulberry is more like a purple with a little brighter, um, like a huckleberry mulberry kind of color. There is the steel gray. We have the denim blue. Next to that is black. We don't see the black very often. Then the spearmint, then the clear, and then the red. So you've got all those different ones. So now, <clears throat> way back at the beginning of the show, we showed you one round container that had a twist lid to it. These also have a twist off, twist on lid. And also, look at this, like a cup. I, I want you to explain this to me. And what was your thought about why we needed this? Hey, Mary Beth. So these cereal keepers you love, another viewer request. Remember, we used to have the ones that just flipped up and locked into place. Yes. But you wrote in and said, you know what? I'm measuring my food. I want to know how much I'm doing. So now with these twists, we made them a little bit narrower on the top, a little bit wider on the bottom, so it's easy to open and close. With this twist, we gave you the perfect one cup measure. So now if you just want one cup of cereal, you have it. If you want one cup of granola, you have it. Excellent. So now, and it's still, pour, and you don't have to use this little pour. Right. You can still just pour out of these. So now, once again, you ask for it. So now you customize how you want to use your little cereal pantry set. But you know what? So much more than just cereal keepers. You right. can put, you know, your four sleeves of crackers in here. You can put tall celeries in here. Mm -hmm. You can put chips in here. You can put anything you want. If you make a big batch of super stew, put it on the door of the refrigerator or freezer. Yeah. You can do that. And then you can pour out what you want. So, and if you buy in bulk, since you're getting a set of two and they're about 16 and a half cups each, if you buy in bulk, now you have two of them that you can fill. And they still have the recessed part in the back, right? So, yeah, right. there you go, Mary Beth. You can pour out of them. Mm -hmm. So it makes it really, really nice. And yeah. I know I'm putting it out there, Mary Beth, because you said it. November, it takes a long time to get these back in stock. Right, it so does. I'm so glad we had them for cooking that day. Ten <laughs> months it took to get these back in. Hey, by the way, one of the colors that wasn't down below is the pine green. So we do have that available for you. I'll go through colors again in a moment. Let's just talk, though. Again, this may be dog food, cat food, anything mm -hmm. like that. It just makes it easier because a lot of cat food comes comes in a bag. Dog food comes right. in a bag. It's nice to be able to put it in here and it does keep it fresher longer. Here's the cereals and things like that. If you even just want to keep your seeds, this is seeds for, um, you know, for your chia seeds or anything like that. Crackers, keeping them fresher longer. Your brown sugars, um, packs of crackers, sleeves of crackers those types of things. If you have coffee grounds and you want to put all your coffee grounds in here, you can do that. I'm going to just open that up and show you. Again, uh, let's say this is my filter in my coffee maker. You know, I can pour that right in. Maybe I don't need to measure it anymore because I already know basically where in the filter I want to stop. Um, so that can be very easy to do that too. And then as far as this is concerned to fill, I just want to show you a lot of times people say, do I have to fill it through the hole? No, you don't because the whole lid comes off. 
So just yeah. when you think, oh, how am I going to fill that? Don't worry about it. Boy, that coffee smells good. Uh, uh. Yep. Yeah, it's almost lunchtime. Um, okay, so anyway, you can see you get two of these for less than $20. Let's go through the colors again. I'm going to start up down here, and then I'll just finish up with the pine green up there. Here's the lavender. Then we have honey. This is mulberry right there. This is the steel gray. We have that denim blue, black, we don't see that very often, spearmint, which is like a teal, and then the clear, then the red. And if you want this pine green, this is a beautiful green too, so you can see that. 1,300 of these already ordered. You know, the other thing that I think a lot of times we don't realize, uh, Chris, is just, you know, we don't have that much pantry space or cupboards right. where we can keep the dry goods you know and a lot right. of times you're lucky if you've got the drawers that are in those shelves that you can pull out but if you don't then you always lose what's towards the back of that cupboard or that that yeah the cupboard so yeah. these tend to stand up i'm going to tell you how tall these actually stand up nine and a quarter inches tall and then mm -hmm. they're about four inches wide or nine and three quarter inches if you count this so you right. know you've got plenty of room between the shelves but you can see it even from the yeah. back and it's always clear on the body of the piece right and since these are only four inches wide like you said Mary Beth mm -hmm. now you can stack two on top of each other just go find a little pork spout uh -huh. but now if you have a tall skinny pantry you can do that and I just move this closer together so you can see and since they are the shape See how close you can get these? So yeah. they're not taking up a lot of room. That that vertical storage mm -hmm. is so important nowadays because a lot of, even mine, I'm guilty of that. When I open my cabinet doors, I have like this much on it and this much wasted space. Yeah, so right. Now, yeah, now you can utilize all that space that you have and you don't have to worry about it. And just like you showed, the whole lid does come off for filling if you don't want to use the pour spout. And then another thing with the coffee, that opening is so big, even with your coffee, you can get a big, huge sure. tablespoon and just measure it by spoon out if you don't want to pour it out. Good so with this, with this little twist tap on here, this makes it so much more versatile mm -hmm. and easier and easier to use. In my opinion, easier to use. Yeah. I, and the fact that that's a one cup capacity. So if mm -hmm. you are portion control or you're really trying to measure out your food a little bit, you know, how many times do you have the box of crackers and, you know, you try to put the, the box back? Well, it's totally wide open. It's not going to keep it from getting, you know, kind of um, stale. And also, anytime something like if you get something in a box or a bag, if it's not airtight, you're inviting bugs. And right now, right. I can tell you in Pennsylvania, the stink bugs are coming in. <laughs> they are. I don't know if you've got them up where you are, but I've already we found do. a couple in my house because, you know, as soon as the weather gets a little cooler at night, they start going, where's it warm? Yeah. Let's go with the Rose House. Um, so anyway, yeah. but you want to keep all those little critters out of your food. And that's another way that I, another reason why I like the Lock and Lock because your food lasts longer and it stays fresher and it keeps those things out that shouldn't be in it. All right, is right. this hour already done? Oh my gosh. 1,800 of these sets already gone. If you want more, you can check out the color, colors on QVC.com. And you can go to QVC.com to see other things that we had during this hour or the hour before that of Temptations. But Chris, thank